your appearance this morning. representative from our client. I'll set for value and return for value all of the charging instruments in this matter and make my exemption available for discharge of all obligations and charges connected with this case. I do not dispute any of the facts in the charging instruments and make a, a reservation of all of my constitutional rights, mostly the first, the sixth, and the fourteenth amendments. Thank you. The record to reflect that the individual known to this court as Daryl Cross is present in custody in person. He is wearing his jail attire this morning. Um, I do want to make a record that at 8.46 p.m. yesterday, I did swear in two additional sheriff's deputies who would be working with our jurors through the overnight or third shift hours. Um, I did uh, administer the same oath that was administered to all the other bailiffs. Um, yesterday evening. Then of course we are uh, open and the jurors are here and they will be instructed to uh, start their deliberations. The only other thing I would put on the record is I have received information regarding the Reddit post uh, that there was a subsequent post from that website uh, indicating that it was a prank. Um, and so I know, I don't know to what extent the Sheriff's Department uh, is looking into that as well, but it's my understanding um, based on news reports that uh, that entire post or site was taken down. Not the site of Reddit, but it's no longer, I believe, viewable. But there was that additional information uh, regarding that, at least from the administrator, I believe, of that post. So I just wanted to put that on the record. And uh, if and when, or I should say when, uh, the investigation is completed, uh, I will assure the parties that you will be provided with that information. So Until, go ahead. So it's being called a prank? Per the Reddit post itself, yes. So we, so we don't have any idea if that's a, a fact though, right? You're correct. <clears throat> I'm just putting on the record the additional information that's been reported on. Um, and then again, once the Sheriff's Department concludes their investigation, uh, it will be turned over to the parties. So at this point, um, until there's a question or a verdict, um, courtroom will remain open. I'm going to be working in my office on other things uh, and will be available, of course, if there are any questions or if a verdict is reached. Right, so ahead. notify the parties. Judge. Yes. I'm so oh, go ahead. No. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm still very concerned about this whole uh, Reddit thing after having the chance to fully read it and um, look at some of the language that's in it. Um, it it's, it's very concerning. That's uh, why there's an investigation, sir. It's anytime there's an allegation that the integrity of this judicial process has been compromised, especially with a juror, I take that incredibly seriously, which is why I turned it over to the Sheriff's Department. I would uh, like your honor to, if it pleases the, uh, the court, and if it pleases your honor, I would like to look at some alternatives. If if I may bring up the uh, in, in in regards to the language, I, I also want to state that uh, for the record. Uh, this did not come about from the prosecution side, from the defense side, and certainly not from your honor side. Um, this is something that just pretty much sprang up. Um, a lot of my concern, though, just not from just the language and the actual post, but um, 
I was kind of concerned that uh, I was the last one to learn of this information. It had been known. Uh, I wasn't aware of it until after 6.30 last night. Um, or around that time, because I, I don't want to misquote the record, but somewhere around that time. It was shortly after 7. Oh, so it was after, I didn't know, I I thought it was, I knew it was after 6.30, but I didn't want to incorrect, incorrectly state um, the record. Your I can Honor, address that for you right now if you would like. Yeah, I, 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 um, if it pleases you, it pleases your honor, I would like to uh, request some alternatives to 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 this uh, issue. Um, What's your specific request? My specific specific request would be to. Uh, look into a mistrial and also any alternatives uh, along those lines short of that or along those lines or a mistrial um, I was looking at some obviously yesterday was very very long for, for, for everybody um, and as you know because of my status uh, here in the the jail I'm allowed to have uh, law library time up until a certain point of the evening and then I have to shut it down <clears throat> per jail policy. Uh, so I was I was able to find a few different things that I wanted to bring to uh, your honor's attention if I may. Go ahead. Um, one being uh, uh, United States versus Perez, uh, 22 U.S. 579. And that specifically, I think it's referenced because that one is pretty old in itself, but it's referenced in a lot of the other uh, case laws that I actually found. I think, and I could be, if I'm interpreting this incorrectly, I apologize. Um, they kind of use that as kind of like the benchmark um, for what they refer to as uh, manifest necessity. That's kind of like one of the leading cases that each one references uh, in regards to issues similar to to things like this when it when it comes into play. Um, and it specifically uh, points to uh, trial judge's discretion and. Um, I think that's kind of like the leading one. Also, I looked at uh, Brown versus Rushton, Rush Rushton, uh, five seven two F dot three D uh, one ninety eight, which speaks to uh, the language is basically it speaks to the same thing. It speaks about uh, manifest necessity. Uh, it it uh, speaks about. Um, uh, if there's an issue of uh, exculpatory evidence, things of that nature. Um, also, uh, United States versus Bates, um, that's B A T E S, uh, 917 F 2D 388. Um, and that speaks of uh, potential for an impartial verdict. Specifically, it says it, uh, along the lines of an uh, impartial verdict, if an impartial verdict can be reached or if a verdict of conviction could be reached but would have to be reversed on appeal due to an obvious procedural error in the trial. Uh, that's one of the main issues that that, that speaks to. Um, I also looked at... Uh, Arizona versus Washington, uh, 434 US 497. And that speaks to what I was stating before. Um, it says uh, neither party 
and the case has a right to have his case decided by a jury, which may be tainted by bias. And I and I say that because it certainly wasn't uh, any anything dealing with the prosecution. They had nothing to do with this. The defense had nothing to do with this, and certainly you, Your Honor, had nothing to do with this. But just for the concern factor, uh, the language. Uh, it's pretty clear that, that this, if not directly came from a juror who sits on this panel, it came from someone who sits in this courtroom every single day. The language it, it directed towards you, Your Honor, directed towards uh, having clear bias towards the defense. Some of the things that they quoted of having knowledge of is is extremely concerning extremely concerning and then going back to some of these uh, case laws that I cited it talks about um, something to the effect of uh, you know the, the ends of public justice um, but I think that is leaning more so towards the judge's discretion, I would say, at least from how I was interpreting interpreting it. Um, obviously, I'm not educated in a lot of the laws in itself, but how I was interpreting it, um, <clears throat> this is definitely, definitely a concerning issue. It's definitely something that I would request your honor to take a a, a, a long look at, um, look at some options, look at some alternatives. Then those those case laws I cited talks specifically about that um, options that um, you, your honor, can can look at and, and and use your discretion to see if it's appropriate in any in any way. But um, I'm extremely concerned about this um, if, if if anything for, for cautionary reasons um, I believe your honor that you definitely should um, take a look at everything I'm, I'm, I'm saying here in uh, these case laws and and um, What's the request, though, that you're making based upon the case law that you cite? I heard in there mistrial, but I want to make sure I understand the, your request for relief and what it is. You say request for? Relief. Relief. And what are you um, asking me to do based upon the information that we, the limited information we have about the Reddit post in this trial? Um, I guess my request would be because of the concern of this to look at uh, a mistrial or at the very least a, a, a discharge of, of the jury at this time so this can be resolved this is this is this is alarming to say the least um, this Post and I, I don't know what Reddit is. To be honest, I've I've never heard of it or used it, so I, I don't know the extent of. It's almost like this could be like a snowball type of thing. It can it can start with something that that's this small, and then it can snowball out of control into something totally different. I don't know the extent of this website. Um, I don't know who. Well, I think the name of the person who sent the uh, to to who alerted the clerk, of course, to uh, to this post. I think his name is in is 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 in the um, the email. But then that even asks the que begs the question of how did this person come across this site? What are what what, what is their significance to this? What is their role in this? It's it's just so many questions and and. 
I mean, clearly this this points at the court's integrity. It points at your integrity, Your Honor. It, it's 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 alarming. It's very alarming. And if there's a chance that there can be hidden bias in this jury, it needs to be addressed now rather than later. This is very concerning. Well, thank you for bringing up your concerns. Let me turn to the state if they want to respond and then see what other issues they want to cover this morning. Judge, the original post was on a subreddit thread called Justice for Daryl. Um, that's the copy that the defendant has in front of him. That post was edited last night, uh, claiming that it was a prank from the start and that the original poster is, uh, didn't think it would get that far out of hand. The way that Reddit works, the only person who can mod uh, excuse me, modify the content of the original post is the original poster. And because the jurors have um, no access to any electronic devices, I think it's safe to say that our 12 jurors back there are not one of the, are not the original poster, so I think that that puts that issue pretty much to bed. It's still obviously under investigation because the court takes it so seriously, but um, there really is no um, actionable or any real reason why um, we should doubt the jury's um, being unbiased in this case. I object to that on the grounds, Your Honor, that, like you just said, it, it's an investigation going on. And if there's an investi investigation, <coughs> then that clearly says that something is amiss. Um, we have 16, well, 15. We have 15 jurors. Uh, we, there's still too many questions that we don't know. Too many. Um, I don't think anything's put to bed because we don't know. It, it's, it's, it's unfair to say that the issue was put to bed when there's still so many questions left out there. I'm, I'm sure you reviewed it yourself, Your Honor. You you see the language in this whatever it is thread. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's clearly a post from somebody who has intimate knowledge of of the trial and, 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 and what's going on in the trial. I, I don't think I mean common sense would would tell you that this is someone who's very close to the case. Whether whether they were intending to be funny, whether they were intending to try to uh, prank the court or anything like that, we don't know. That could be anybody's guess. The language in this, the way that, that the way that it's formatted, they lay out four specific points of what, what they think. They uh, they point to certain language in in the case. Uh, they make references to saying when we were in the room, they got certain feelings from when deep where. They specifically refer to themselves and a group. That would be we, plural. Um, they, they say, and I have to admit, I am biased against the defendant for the horrible acts he did. And, and. They attack you, Your Honor. They, they clearly attack you. This, this is, this is. If this is, I is someone's idea of fun. Is is anybody's guess? But I don't believe that it is. Clearly, by the way it's formatted and by the language that that is in it. This is clearly someone with intimate knowledge of the case and what's going on. Clearly. There's no other way. There's no other way to interpret this. You can tell by just by the, the, what they're laying out in the language that they're speaking with. 
that this is clearly someone co close to the case. And, and because of that, it still has to be, uh, I'm informed of the investigation, but there's still too many questions left in the air just from this. How, how can we say anything's put to bed when there's still a, a, an investigation? For all we know, what if, what if this turns up that it was someone on the jury or what, what if it turns out that more people are involved in it than just whoever this anonymous uh, person was who left the post. It's too many questions and it's too concerning. What if something like this springs up again at the last minute? We've, we've been going through the trial now for basically three weeks, the better part of three weeks. And even even in uh, court dates leading up to the trial, we've never had anything like this happen. Nothing like this has been brought to your attention. Nothing like this has been been brought before the court's attention. It's, this just came out of the blue and now all of a sudden it's, it's being labeled a prank. Is that because they were found out? I mean, it, it, beg, it begs so many questions. It's, it's, it's too uncertain, it's, it's too concerning, and it's, it's too alarming. It's too alarming to just overlook and say, oh, well, we'll just, we'll just set it to the side and let them know. This, this, there has to be some type of alternatives and some type, something has to be done. Something. And if that's a mistrial, if that's uh, 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 discharging a jury, if that's some other type of alternatives that can be looked at I'm, I'm sure that uh, these case law speaks to other options that could come into play they deserve to at least be looked at if, if anything to protect the integrity of the trial I, I find it very hard to believe that this close uh, to the trial being over and now all of a sudden these issues are being raised so this is obviously not a prank and it's obvious that this is someone with intimate knowledge it's, it's very it's very clear to me well let me address your concern sir um, I cannot make conclusions at this point about whether this is legitimate or a prank what I know is as follows I received the information about the subreddit post at approximately 9.30, 9.40 yesterday morning. I and I alone made the decision to withhold advising the parties because of where we were at in the trial, because there was nothing in that post, it was an anonymous post, that would lend credibility to that it was in fact one of these jurors. But out of an abundance of caution, I referred it to law enforcement because it is very serious if the integrity of these proceedings were to be put at issue by a juror. I'd remind you though, every single day these jurors were read uh, the bulk of jury instruction 50. They all took an oath and I have no reason to doubt that they would violate that oath at this time. So I took and I made the decision to withhold telling the parties because we were in the middle of instructing the jury. I was in the middle of instructing the jury. And I wasn't going to delay the proceedings because it was so speculative at that point and remains speculative at this point. Um, as you know, the case went to the jury. I brought this up. I waited about a half an hour once the case went to the jury. Uh, frankly, we had had a long day. I wanted to get a bit to eat. And then I wanted to come back out and make a record of what I had. Once again, the forensic unit with the Sheriff's Department has taken lead of this investigation. I'm not a part of that investigation. Law enforcement will handle it. From my perspective, um, not only did the Clerk of Courts Office receive uh, emails regarding this, it sounds like the District Attorney received emails. Um, I may have even gotten one. I don't remember the time, it was later regarding the post. Frankly, people figure out my email all the time. It was not solicited by me in any way and I did not respond to it. And I simply forwarded that email on to law enforcement. So it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people have access to Reddit. I personally am not a user of Reddit, so I don't know the ins and outs of it other than it is a social media site. 
uh, where people can create accounts uh, and post and there can be like chat rooms for example or just various as this is called subreddits um, and at this point you've requested a mistrial um, you've requested that I discharge the jury I'm declining to do that at this time sir again I need to make decisions based upon the record that's before me and right now the record is speculative there are no facts to support a mistrial or discharging the jury I trust the parties will continue in their own independent investigations uh, that you will continue reviewing case law make whatever requests that you deem appropriate I certainly will take time uh, to look at the cases you have cited um, to see if there's anything uh, based upon the requests that you have made that I would need to further <coughs> review uh, but at this time I do not see grounds for a mistrial I do not see grounds to discharge the jury um, and um, that is how I will address it at this point um, I know the state I believe wanted to address something else I'm not sure if that was it but uh, you had deferred to mr. Brooks so go ahead are there is there anything you want me to address or at least bring to the court's attention at uh, this time? Just a minor point, Your Honor. You had noted the defendant is in his orange jail uniform today. It's my understanding the jail did offer him the ability to put on his street clothes, and he declined. So I just wanted that on the record. Um, there may be occasions where this jury has to be brought into the courtroom for one reason or another, and he should be in civilian clothes um, if that occurs, if he chooses to. It's a good point to bring up. It is possible the jury would need to be brought out uh, if there is any question that I need to answer on the record. Um, if for some reason the technology were not to be working appropriately when uh, videos or other evidence are displayed to them. And so it is possible that the jury would need to come out. Of course, they'll come out if and when a verdict is reached. Um, so I would certainly give you the opportunity, sir, if you want to change into the street clothes that uh, I would certainly direct the sheriff's department to make that available for you isn't, isn't should that, you choose. Isn't it my choice? Yes, it is. So why, I just, do I, why do I need to be in street clothes? Why does that need to be on the record that... Your choice if, should be placed on the record. Sir, if or why. if not, I was offered to be in street clothes if I made it the choice... Do you dispute that, sir? Yes, I dispute it because it's my choice. Well, no, at this do you point, dispute that you were this given point, the choice no, this morning? At this point, there's no reason why that should be on the record that if or if I was not offered street clothes, what, what, rele what relevancy does that have it to... could have potential relevancy later on if why? you were to challenge that you and claim that you are required to wear your jail uniform or jail attire you're not required this I didn't is make a trial that you have the right to wear street clothes and i will certainly provide uh, that opportunity should you wish to change at any point in time um, but what you're telling me is it's your choice to be in jail attire i'll respect that choice yeah. of course I, so why does that need to be stated for the record i just why? indicated why sir so I, I don't i don't see the relevancy of it all right, at uh, this point, never, um, unless there are raised. any further issues, I am going to go back into my office. The courtroom will remain open, and we'll let you know uh, when the jury communicates there, with us, either about a question or verdicts. There, there is something that needs to be addressed, subject matter jurisdiction. The why court declines it, that. I'm stepping off. Why, doesn't have, why hasn't it been proven on the record yet? And I...